I, Keith Gray, 38, married um, with a beautiful daughter working full-time employment as a care assistant in a privately run nursing home. I earned the so-called living wage. I was born with a hidden physical disability, cerebral palsy. I wasn't diagnosed until I was 13. I've recently developed depression. I have all of my life struggled on the bottom of the ladder and having to live within my means. Whilst being in full-time employment, more often than not, I am struggling to make ends meet and provide a quality and comfortable life for my wonderful young family to live in. I have, from an early age, always have a very keen interest in politics. The party I believe shares the same type of politics as mine is the Labour Party. I've been a Labour member in Northern Ireland since 2015. I became active in May 2016 during the local assembly election doing canvassing in Lagan Valley. I was involved in Save Our Libraries campaign. I've been at two NASUWT strike rallies and many other events. I decided to put myself forward to be disability officer at February's AGM. I was elected unopposed. I felt a great honour bestowed on me to be in that position. I have been active in my disability officer role in speaking at events, branch meetings, etc. I, hail, I have had my own disability officer launch. I am currently organising an event to mark National Disability Day. I've created a Facebook, Instagram page and Twitter for this position. It is this experience that politicised me, not dogma or doctrine. I joined Labour inspired by Corbyn. And since joining, I've worked tirelessly to have built a new politics much needed in Northern Ireland. These last few months, I've been deeply disappointed by those within the party who seek to attack comrades who have worked so hard to build the party here. I too have been subject to unfair treatment and commitment and comment, but have always sought unity over division. I have been willing to stand up for my policies as disabilities officer or as a candidate in local elections. However, the EC seems increasingly unworkable and in some ways elitist. In this unfolding hierarchy, it seems my opinion and voice is marginalised. Therefore, it is deep, with, with deep disappointment that I resign from the EC. I do not, however, intend for one moment to cease my political activism. I will remain fully committed to bringing a real political alternative to Northern Ireland. It's this that my family and my class desperately need.